air quotes, beta testers. And so what will happen is over the next, um, the next few days, as we start populating these blogs with more and more content and doing kind of tweaks and changes, you guys can see that process as it unfolds, which I think is going to be a pretty cool experience for everybody on here, especially if you haven't done uh, blogging before, if you've never done that. So in order to get the ball rolling, uh, go ahead and log into Infinii Network and then uh, go ahead and, and uh, click on the training tab and then go to blogging training right here. What you'll see is a little form that says create your blog below. Just go ahead and put in your Infinii username. Make sure it's exactly correct. Be careful. And your email address and you'll submit your blog information. Now, what will happen is it'll take you to a page that says we've received an email uh, with your blog login information, or you will receive an email with your blog login information in the next 24 hours. And you'll start getting an email that kicks out to you to log into your WordPress blog panel to where you can start making changes, tweaks, edits. You can look at your blog, you can see what's going on with that, and, uh, and we'll get the ball rolling. Now, what's really cool, um, you know, there's a lot of folks who, uh, who want to blog, right? They want to do this stuff, but they don't want to go through the headache of setting up a WordPress blog, installing all the plugins, which plugins do I use? What ones are the best? What do we do? So your blog will actually be preloaded with um, with Genesis and with dozens of plugins that uh, have been handpicked by Carly, who, if you guys don't know, is amazing at this stuff. And she's going to be walking you through tonight how to kind of set this stuff up, what you should be looking for, why you even want to have one. Um, and what to expect when you get in there. So Norman, if just like, you know, if you know nothing about blogging, that's fine. This is really what this solution is for, is to get people on a level playing field um, with this, right? Without having to have any kind of knowledge, boom, they're set up. And then what we'll do in the future is we'll bring in some article writers to help you guys out if you so choose to get some article writers with us, okay? So uh, we, wanna, we wanna make sure you guys are taken care of from every angle and obviously blogging is a, is a very big part of uh, internet marketing or can be. Even if it's not to try to rank for SEO, even if it's a follow-up thing where you're sending people back to your blog to learn more about you, right? Or if you wanna make sure that, that they get a, a handle on who you are and what you've done, you can put what you want on your blog. So pretty excited about this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Carly. Let her uh, go ahead and get this started. <laughs> but once again, for those of you who are just popping on, log in your back office, go to blog training. You'll see this form right here. Fill this out. And within 24 hours, you'll have a login info with your blog on it, right? So you can go ahead and start uh, start getting in there and taking action and, and, and just getting the lay of the land. And we will indeed um, be following up with you guys to make sure you have everything you need, okay? All right, so with further, without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Carly. Um, I don't think she needs any introduction. I think everybody knows who she is. Uh, <laughs> she runs all the training inside of, um, inside of Infinii here, does an amazing job with it, always in the trenches with you guys, and, and then bringing that knowledge back and showing you guys what, um, what to do in your e-commerce businesses. And for those of you who don't know, <coughs> she's pretty amazing at the blogging side. So, Carly, turn it on over to you. Okie dokie. Make you a presenter. There you go. Thank you. Show my screen. Let me know if you can see my screen okay. I got it. it. I can see it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, good. Everyone else can see okay? Okay, good. We're good, good, good. Okay, so let me move some stuff out of the way here. Now, I'm going to say this in advance. I have never done this live. <laughs> so bear with me here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what you're looking at right here is what is called the WordPress dashboard. It's a back office for WordPress. So I want to take you through a little bit of a short tour to help you understand how things work. You will see over here on the left hand menu, there are several things that you can do, which we will get into more in depth on, I would say, a future webinar, Kevin. <laughs> Um, so the front your blog has been created is you want to go through what is called the WordPress settings. So if you click on settings, you will be able to change, change 
change your site title. You can add a tagline. You don't have to have a tagline, but you can add one. Your email address and some other information in the general settings. Normally, I will leave all of this as is, as long as the site title and your email address is correct, and then just click on Save Changes. The next section is the Writing section. Here, you can choose a default category. Now, understand that this is a demo blog, so the category names will say Category 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, for example, if you're blogging about online marketing, you would use category names, online marketing, or something to that effect. Uh, default post format, I usually leave as is. Once you've, if you've changed anything, then you would definitely want to click Save Changes. The most important thing, if you change anything in WordPress, Save Changes is your best friend. <laughs> Been there, done that. Uh, the reading section, this is where you can tell WordPress to either show your posts that you have created or a static page. For example, let's go, is this the one I want? Yes, okay. This is what I threw together for <laughs> our webinar here. So I actually created a page called Infinity iCommerce that I chose to be my front page. So you can actually create a page and choose a specific page to be always be on the front page. Or if I were to click on your latest post and click Save Changes, and if we refresh, now it's going to show, <laughs> I love this picture. Um, now it's going to show your latest posts. I have found, uh, working with WordPress and Google and search engines and that kind of thing, your static pages are going to be a lot better as far as ranking purposes, which we will definitely get into at a later date. Um, again, this is all basic information that we're going to go through to get you ready to start blogging. So once you have filled this information in, now, this is something I want to point out where it says search engine visibility. Until you have, I would say, a couple of pages and at least five posts up and you have your design already, you want to make sure this is checked. We don't want Google to index your site until you're ready. So once you've done all this, you can click on Save Changes again. So now that I have chosen a specific page for the front page, I can then click refresh again, and now I, I'm back to the main page. Okay, discussions is not really that important. We can get into that at a later training date. It's very basic information. You know, you can actually blacklist people from your um, blog and stuff like that. I just leave it as is, as it comes out of the box. And media has to do with your images. You can choose the image size. Um, I normally will keep a thumbnail around 200. 150 just looks really small to me. So you can choose the sizes or leave as is. Click Save Changes. Again, anything that you change, you want to make sure that you save changes. Permalinks. This is very important for SEO. If you want to be ranked anywhere out there on Google, it's important to make sure that your common settings says post name. And that will give you a link like this, and that's what Google wants. This is actually optional. You can probably Google information for that. I don't use it very, very rarely. It just depends on the blog. And that's it for the settings. We have pre-installed an XML sitemap, and we will go over that again in a training video. Uh, during the phase of creating your blog, if you want to put an under construction page, um, I think we have that up, don't we? Uh, no, actually, I'm logged in. I can't do that, so forget that. Okay, so I'd like to break for just a second and ask... If, it's, if everybody is understanding exactly what we're going through. 
Am I going too fast? So far, so good. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, I want to answer Cindy's question. <laughs> Cindy, you know I love you, right? <laughs> it's not in the back office. This is in Infinii Network, and you're going to need to click on the blog training to request a blog like this. Okay. Yep, so real quick, guys, this is um, once you request the blog and go over the steps uh, that I showed you, and I'll go over that again before we get off in case you didn't have a chance to, um, yes. you'll get a blog and login information. And that, lo that login information that you'll receive in your email, when you do log in, you'll be in the admin panel of your blog, and that is what you're seeing right here. So what Carly is going over is how to set this up, what you want to look for, just mm -hmm. kind of get you orientated, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want to go lightnings fast, but we want to make sure you guys understand what kind of everything means in the back office of, uh, of WordPress, okay? So I just want to kind of toss that out there. I'd like to answer a couple questions, if that's okay. Uh, Norman? Norman asks, what is the real advantage to blogging? I am so glad you asked that. <laughs> um, blogging you are able to target specific keywords to have people come find you. So understand that if you are blogging about e-commerce training, then people looking for e-commerce training are going to come find you. So there is a lot of benefit to it, not only about, you know, I, lo I love to write, I love to blog. Um, mind you, I don't have as much time as I used to, but getting there. But the point is, um, it's very, yes, the record, it's being recorded. <laughs> it's okay. Don't panic. Okay. So what we're going to show you is one, how to set up a blog. We're also going to show you how to create a post, how to create a page. I mean, we're going to go through different areas so that, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe you want to answer that one. Why not create a Facebook fan page instead of a blog? Uh, because there's certain people on Facebook and there's other people on Google. So there's a lot more people on Google than there are anywhere else. Okay, so I see a lot of questions. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> okay, so the next part that I want to go over is the appearance. Appearances up here. Appearances is going to, you're going to be able to edit or add things to your blog to make it look better basically so if you go over here and go to customize there's several things that you can actually edit if you click on site identity you can actually change the title or the tagline you can also add a site icon and it tells you how big it should be before you and I didn't want to do that <laughs> Of course. Okay. So if we go back here, you can actually also change the colors. So for example, you'll see that the links are, I have in blue right now, so you can actually change the color to purple or to crazy colors, <laughs> pretty much anything that you want to do. So that's how you would be able to change colors. You will notice that the background also has more of a gray color. You can actually change that as well. I could make it white and it looks like you won't see the background color of that. So I'm going to clear, leave that. Header image, which is this here, nothing fancy. You can either have an image or you can have your, your blog name, what you named the blog, show up in this area here you will notice that it actually tells you how big the image should be before you upload it, okay? And you can actually, there, there, I know numerous people that blog where they may add like four or five different variations and you can actually have WordPress randomly show a different image that's, I don't do it, but people do, okay. Background image, you can also add a background image here. You just select the image. Now, if, for example, you had a background image or an image anywhere, you would select an image up there, you would actually click on upload, and then you can upload it directly from your computer. Okay, menus. Currently have two menus on this particular blog. 
which is a category menu here and a page menu here. And I will show you how to add or edit those menus in just a second. So for example, this category menu, I could actually add additional items. I could actually add a custom link and I could just add infinii.com. You can pretty much do anything you want to. So let's see here. So see now we have a link to Infinii. So the menus, you can pretty much do anything that you want with them. So as far as pages go you'd want like a contact page and about or I can't even think of the other pages usually <laughs> um, but and then the categories are going to be based on what you're blogging about let's see widgets widgets are really easy to do these are widgets over here so what you will notice is I added a lot of information to this what they call a sidebar that you can change the way that they look. So let me go back, leave page. And if we go up here to appearances and then widgets, you can do it from here as well. What you are seeing on the right hand side here is what is called a primary sidebar. Okay? So basically, what I've done is we've added uh, several plugins. So this one is a simple social icons and what you can do is you can click on it here and you can actually add your Google Plus, Instagram or whatever social media site that you want to add there. Okay so once you, and you can actually change the color or leave it the way it is I mean these are the most and you can actually change the title as well. So if you look here it says let's connect. If I changed And apparently I can't spell for some reason. <laughs> if I change the text here, I can then go down to the bottom of it and click save. Now, if I refresh the page, that's how instant it is to change stuff on your blog. So, we can take this and close it because it's getting in my way. I'm going to actually remove this widget and show you how super easy it is to add one. Delete. That is what is called an image widget. So if I drag this over here and I can position it anywhere I want it to go. Say for example I wanted to put an image on, my, on the right sidebar and link it to say my um, sales page. I can actually, we'll just use the same image. I just love that little girl. Okay, so I can insert this image. Now if you scroll down, you can actually add a link to it. I'm just going to put facebook.com for right now. And then you can tell it, you know, medium, large, or whatever. I usually do medium and then a line. I will normally do center. It just looks better. So if I click save, <coughs> excuse me, and I close it, we can go back and refresh. Now if I click on this picture, I went to Facebook. So that's another good way of adding an image to your Infinii network pages or your sales page or something to that effect. So if we go back over here, there is also, okay, let's go to the infinite. Okay. Have you guys seen these banners back here? I love these banners. Banners are awesome, Kevin. What you can do is you can take one of these banners. I'll copy the code. And this is our, this is, goes directly to your link. Okay. So you can come over here. And I can take a text widget, and let's put it above there. And I can paste the code in there, leave the title, 
or you can say join my team or whatever you may want to put in there and click on save. Now watch what happens. Remember, we added one directly underneath. So we'll refresh. And now this goes directly to the sales page. Okay, so that's how the widgets work. So you can, pre I mean, it, it makes it very functional. So you can add stuff anywhere you pretty much want to add it. Um, this theme actually comes with three footer widgets as well, which I have not put together, which I forgot, Kevin. <laughs> so for example, if I wanted to put recent posts down here in footer one, I add that. Now what that will do is if we hit refresh again, we can go to the bottom of the page because that's a footer. And now we have information on the left side footer. This particular theme, <coughs> excuse me, has three footers and a sidebar and a header right. You, any information you find over here can be placed in any of these widgets. Okay, should I break for questions? I think um, I think it'd be really helpful if we do one thing real quick, and that okay. is um, just toggle back to the blog for me. Okay. Uh huh. Now, just looking at the layout, um, mm -hmm. what you guys see at that top bar there, where it says "My Sites," "Infinii," "Commerce Demo," "Customize." That is something that you're going to see because you're logged in at the admin. Right. Okay. The the top banner right there. Um, we can edit that, right? We can mm -hmm. edit anything on these blogs, okay? And right. I'd like to kind of go through and say, here's the top banner, and you would edit it here. And then here are the categories, and you could edit it here. And here's the blog post, and you can edit mm -hmm. it, right? So they can just right. get a really good layout of, uh, of what they're looking at. Okay, let me answer uh, Mike Stevens. This is a Genesis theme. It's a child's theme as sample. Uh, I highly recommend it. They're very easy to rank in Google very quickly. Any Genesis theme. Uh, let's see, anything else? Yes, there's actually an app for WordPress that you can actually do this on your phone, Norman. <laughs> I've done it before. Okay, so I think, hold on one second for me, Kevin. Kevin's holding. So how are we doing, guys, so far? What do you think about this, about getting uh, just a blog, you plug and play? I want to get your feedback on it. Um, what we're doing here, uh, Priscilla asks a really good question. Um, is this for customers, search partners, or both? Um, what will happen is pretty much, you know, right now we're we're bringing this to you guys in Infinity Network because it's a smaller community versus um, all of the partners, right? And then we're going to roll this out in the beta form, let you guys go ahead and, and get access to it and test it out. And as we make some more tweaks to it, you can see that happening because that'll give you a really good education on what we're doing here and get you in, in a kind of a firm setting to actually be able to take action on this stuff, right? Because having it whoop de doo die. You've got a blog sitting there. Who cares? The question is, how can we get some action out of this, get some blog posts going, and make sure you guys have the training for that? So, um, you know, it's fine to take your time and go through this stuff because it needs to be an education. You need to learn it um, so that you can, you can really apply yourself and then pass this down throughout your team members and help people out, right? That's kind of the, the game plan. But to, to answer your question, um, we will be having this live for pretty much everyone who's a partner in Infinii. Mm -hmm. We're just starting here with Infinii Network so that you guys who are in Infinii Network get your hands on it first. Uh, we like to launch stuff and give you stuff here first because you're, you are know, you, you, you understand a lot of this stuff and have more advanced training than the average marketer out there roaming the planet. Okay? So that's the, that's the game plan is this first you guys get in here first you guys everything that i that we launch on the partner side of the house will come here first inside of infinity network 
We'll do some some more training on this. We'll have some webinars on it. Uh, we'll make sure you are 100% up to speed on how to do this. We'll even go out there and get some blog writers so you can just outsource your blogging and, uh, and make sure you guys are in a good position because, hey, I can't stand to write. I think we all understand that by now. Uh, and now, you guys, if you don't if you don't like to write either, you'll have a, a way to do that yourselves as well, where you can just outsource that as well. Um, and then we'll launch it into and say, hey, all partners can have access to this. But the catch to that is you guys will be pretty highly trained by that point. So, yeah, there we are. All right, I'm going to shut up now, Carly. <laughs> I would just really like to, uh, what I'd like to see though, is that we just kind of go through because I think a lot of people still might be confused and I know because I know I was when I first started looking at blogs right. and I'm not a master blogger by any means guys. Um, but, uh, you know, a side widget, right? What exactly is that, right? Mm -hmm. So on that right-hand side where you see join my team, let's connect on Facebook, join today, mm -hmm. those are all widgets that you mm -hmm. add to a sidebar. So can we go into um, back inside of the, right. the uh, admin panel and show them where they would yep. make those edits one more time? Right. Okay. So um, from the left menu where you see appearances, you will go to widgets. So if I click widgets again, here are the, now the widgets that are available will be on the right hand side over here. Okay. I purposely made my mouse bigger and darker so everybody can see it. <laughs> Okay, so on the left-hand side are the available widgets. So anything that is available to put in a widget is going to be over here on the left-hand side. So again, categories would be your category names. Uh, featured tabs, I'll have to get into that later. <laughs> There's a few things that I would have to get into later. Um, pages is going to be the, the pages that you have on your blog. Now, the primary sidebar is what you see on the right-hand side here, okay? This is what is called the primary sidebar, okay? So the primary sidebar has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven widgets in there currently, right? Now, if I click on the pages that we just discussed, we can actually name it anything that we want. And what does that name, where's the pages, got to find it again, here we go. So anything that I change, see where it says more information? I can change that to say get more information. And if I click save, I will then refresh and now it is updated that quickly, okay? So another thing to consider is when it comes to the pages, you can sort by page title, page order, page ID. That's a whole other webinar. We'll talk about that later. I would just leave it at page title. It's the simplest, and honestly, that's all I've ever used. Uh, you can actually exclude pages from showing up as well, and that's another webinar. <laughs> Um, but honestly, if you do it out of the box, it's plenty for you to build your blog. You don't need to know all these advanced type of strategies or different ways of doing things. Uh, that's what's awesome about WordPress is out of the box, it's, it's workable. Uh, it's very easy to learn. Um, so if I close here, categories is the same thing. Every time you add a widget, you have the option of having additional information. So we could show it as a drop down, for example. If I click save. Now let's go to categories. Here's the categories. Let's refresh. And now I have a drop down menu. Okay. I can also uncheck that. I could actually, if I, for example, if I had, I don't know, 20 posts, if I clicked on show post count and I click save, you can then refresh again and it shows how many posts are in each category. So there's different things that you can do to different ways. Point. Again, uh, this, what we went over here, 
you can actually change the title to, you know, if you're talking about online marketing, then it would have something to do with online marketing. If you're talking about e-commerce, then it would say something about e-commerce. Um, you know, it's, it's really, it's not hard. And, and before anybody freaks out when I say the word SEO, don't. <laughs> it is a lot easier than most of you will even think. Um, you know, just like we learn on eBay and Amazon about how to rank our listings, you do the same thing with a blog. You already have the basis of SEO. It's just, it, the strategies are a little different. But that's the point is everything that we've gone over about ranking in eBay or Amazon, Bonanza or whatever it may be in our own platform is used for blogging. That's where it came from. <laughs> Um, I just, when I joined, I decided to test the SEO I knew on blogging into e-commerce and it worked. <laughs> so you already have a lot of the knowledge that you can implement into your blog. So um, again, you can add a link to this image widget. And of course you do not have to use my favorite picture. You can use whatever you want. <laughs> Um, so, and again, if you don't want that there, I can just click delete. Oh my God, it's gone. Where'd it go? No, I'm kidding. Okay. So I can then refresh and it disappeared. So each widget, depending on what type of widget you have, does different things. A text widget will allow you to add what they call HTML, and this is what is HTML code. It looks all funny and you can't really read it, but it does things that you want it to do. So I'll leave it at that. Um, again, social media is going to be important when it comes to blogging. Um, every time you uh, do a blog post, you want to share it on social media. That's how uh, Google gets notified at how popular you are and how easy it is to rank. Um, can I show a example of that? Oh yeah, I think they would love it. Sweet. Okay. So I know a lot of you follow me on Facebook, so I was doing some blogging and let me get to Google first. And I did a post on social media hashtags. And I was surprised to find out that people we're actually searching Google for hashtag OMG. Well, I just found out <laughs> it only took about four days and I'm number one on Google right here. So here's my post. There's my hashtag right there. So I'm actually ranking for that post. And honestly, all I did was share it on social media. So other people shared it. There's a lot of comments. You know, I share, I didn't just share it on Facebook, you know. Uh, basically, I do use Hootsuite for a lot of my blogging stuff. So I do share posts on like Google Plus and LinkedIn and that kind of thing. Um, I know there's going to be some questions. I should have kept my mouth shut on that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So the point is, is it's not hard. And you have to understand this particular blog, I think, has five or six posts. That's it. So if you'll notice, this particular term, social media hashtags, oh, I think that's hilarious. Uh, there's over 76,000 results. Who would have thought? <laughs> so my point is, is what we're teaching you is exactly how I did that. So it is possible. Are you going to be number one every time? Probably not. But... I can show you how to get on the front page, and it's not hard. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what, um, what I'd like to do too, and uh, it's funny because I look in the chat, and, and guys, if you guys don't know Norman, I get to know Norman Ellsworth. He talks in the chat as if we're having a direct conversation with him, which is awesome. <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> so you're awesome, Norman. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, we're going to put together a, a little quick series on getting up and running with your blog. This is really just an introduction webinar. And so we'll do a, like a, a you know, th five, four, 
Once you log in, you want to do this first. Next, you want to do that first. Next, you want to do that first. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to uh, get into some, you know, as time goes by, into some more advanced stuff um, and bring out some other, you know, rock stars who are doing great with this, like, I don't know, Marin. Marin, mm -hmm. we're going to be tapping yes. on your shoulder. <laughs> awesome. Um, and get some more trainers in here and more perspectives on how right. this whole thing works uh, mm -hmm. because it's, it's, it's uh, really, really powerful, right? If nothing else, from a branding purpose. You should, you should unmute okay. her. She's there. Yeah, Marin, do you mind if I unmute you? I'd like to see Come what you've got. On, going on. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do it. I'm just I waiting for her, her reply back. But um, her. yeah, so we'll, we'll go through and do a lot of this stuff and, and really guys get you guys up and running. Um, and, you know, again, this is uh, this is free for you guys. Right. And mm -hmm. so then we'll t start moving this stuff over into uh, into the rest of Infinity and letting folks go ahead and get their hands on it as well. So I'm going to grab Marin real quick. Awesome. Just gave me the uh, the thumbs up. To okay. Unmute her. <laughs> Usually I just unmute people, but we won't do that today. So let me find her. There she is. Marin, hey. you are unmuted. Hello. How are you? Good. Great. We've been Hi, been waiting for this. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your experience with uh, with blogging? I know that from um, from DS Domination all the way up into Infinii, uh, you and your husband pretty much put in a few people a day and have always been um, you know, a consistent force on, uh, on leaderboards and everything we've ever done. Um, what, what's your, what do you, what's your outtake on blogging and what you, you know, what would you pass on to these guys and how powerful this can be? Yeah, well, pretty much all of our recruiting has been through content marketing, which is um, blogging and uh, video marketing. It's content, you're creating content, you're optimizing it for SEO, using those keywords. Um, we write for our audience. We don't write for SEO as much. So we want to, well, basically what we do is we take all the information we're learning from DSD and Infinii and e eBay and e-commerce and we're writing it um, to share the information. And yeah, we get so much traffic to our website and to our YouTube channel. Um, people join our links, they sign up, they pay, we never hear from them. <laughs> I try and contact them, I send them welcome emails, add them to the Facebook groups, um, but they're happy just to just find our link and join up. It's the easiest recruiting ever. And yeah, we've been doing it consistently for over three years. And it just worked for us. Um, but as you know, it takes time. Um, it can take, you know, between one and three hours to do a post with, the, with all the optimization. Um, and then it doesn't end there. As you know, you've got to share it. So we use different tools to share it all, to bookmark it all. Mm -hmm. um, reshare stuff, uh, answer comments, um, yeah, but yeah, definitely, definitely works. So much better than paying for advertising. <laughs> I know, <Beautiful>. right? <laughs> yeah. Now, on average, I mean, when you look at the time invested into into creating a blog post, let's say you made one blog post, what would you say would be the real tangible result you get out of that, right? Because in, in marketing, it's all about the results. So you make a blog post what's your expectation of a tangible result you're going to get from you know per blog post you you invest your time in um just getting people um either emailing us um contacting us and then asking for a link and joining or just they just follow the information and and get started um we've had lots of people find us um, through our blog and then go and look us up on Facebook, send us friend requests, um, you start communicating with people or just emailing us, um, getting into our uh, email funnels through Aweber um, and then they get drip fed emails and followed up. Um, but yeah, you don't have to necessarily spend a lot of time writing. We, we might, um, for example, uh, record an opportunity webinar um, then we upload it to YouTube like with the same SEO keywords and then I embed it into a blog and then I write a description. Yeah. Thank um, you. Recap. Sorry, I'm <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. And then I then I send 
four or five thousand email subscribers. Mm -hmm. So it's the same piece of content. We're not creating that. The, the company's creating that. Um, and then you can use it for blogs, for videos, um, and send out emails. And then, of course, all your social media posts. So it's easy. <laughs> Piece of cake. There you go. There we go. Yeah. So, what would you um, would you be willing to hop on some calls here in the in the very near future and go over some of the stuff you're doing? Because I think everyone here, actually, guys, hop in the chat if you'd want Marin to do that. I just want to give her a little social peer pressure. <laughs> I can't hop and in the George, chat. I and George. And George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've been working with WordPress for um, five or six years. It's all self-taught. Uh, yep. We do. We've built websites for other people. We know the technical side of it really well. So um, Carly, I'll be helping out in the uh, Facebook groups, answering questions because it can seem quite daunting, or the technical side that um, Carly's going over, but it's really not. WordPress is so easy as long as yeah. you know how to use a word, um, like a word editor. Yes. It's yeah, you can't really break it too bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, just keep just start writing. Talk about yourself, your story. They're, they're really good um, posts you can start with. Um, and then, yeah, any information from the company, you can repurpose it into blogs. Absolutely. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, thank you. Um, I can't wait to have you out on some training once we get everyone kind of spun up and get the basics settled in. Um, it would be great to have you come out and, and teach some You're of welcome. that cool stuff you guys are doing. So I love it. It's like a big loop, right? You have a piece yeah. of content <laughs> out on YouTube. I mean, you have a YouTube video going, linking back yeah. to your blog post and linking back to your sign up page you have a blog that's you know that has that embedded on it which gives more weight to the youtube video and then you've got the content yep. out there seo exactly. for the keywords that you wanted and the content that you get for that comes from the things that you're learning inside the company so you share a little bit of tidbit of information mm -hmm. and the person who's going to be interested in that tidbit of information would be the exact same person who'd be interested in doing what joining infinii so yep. it's one big exactly. link wheel um and it all works pretty awesome so it does it does yeah. work yeah thank you Thank you for having me out here. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye. So that's Marin, everybody. She's pretty awesome. Her and her husband was, are some yeah. amazing leaders. So it's really good yeah. to have her out here. Um, yeah, I think um, I think that's it. I think I think Carly, we need to uh, to get to sending out these blogs for these guys so they can start beta testing this and going through it. Mm -hmm. um, I want to make sure they can uh, can get this stuff up and running as soon as possible, and uh, and we'll get this webinar posted right in the back office on that same page. In fact, I will grab something. I'm going to grab the screen real quick and show you guys one more time. For those of you who missed this, let me see. <laughs> Norman, no, I did not go through everything. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a lot Not more. Close. <laughs> we definitely don't want to overwhelm anybody, though. Yeah. So if you guys, um, when you get back here, just go log in Infinity Eye Network, click on blog training. That'll take you over to this page right here. We can go ahead and just put your Infinity Eye username here, put your email address here, hit submit. It's going to kick you over to the page that says, hey, we will send you your blog login information in 24 hours, and it will all be set up for you. Um, you'll have the Genesis theme. You'll have a bunch of plugins installed, so you don't have to worry about trying to do any of that stuff. And we will uh, get rolling. We'll have this recording on this same page right above this video here in the next 30 to 40 minutes. And if you guys have some questions, um, you should be able to see my screen, Joyce. Yeah, you guys I see, see my screen? Okay. I see it. Um, so, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff all around. And then um, I'm going to be in the help desk tonight so you guys can hit me up. I got a bunch of stuff to do in there. Um, as you, If you don't know this already, um, even though I am a co-founder of Infinii, and the chief marketing officer, I do spend a lot of time in help desks, especially on the Infinity Network side, so I can see the exact challenges, the struggles that you have, and the successes that you have. That's what drives me, guys. So because let me know if Kevin you, is awesome. Let me <laughs> let me know if you guys are, are you know what you guys are doing good, what you need help with, because that feeds and that gives me the direction that we're going to take to help you guys build your business. When I see somebody say, "Oh, you know, I want to learn blogging," and I see that post five, six, seven, eight, nine times to me in the help desk, um, that's what spurs these things on. That's where I go, okay, we need a blogging platform for these guys um, and let's beta test it in the, the um, Infinii network side. Let's get them spun up and then let's bring it on over to everyone in the partners so that they their teams can uh, duplicate. Um, so, you know, let me know your successes in the help desk. Um, even if I don't reply to it because I get a lot of tickets in there and I'm a, kind of a busy guy, um, I still 
Um, I really appreciate that kind of stuff that you guys send over there. Really drives me, uh, keeps me going. So that's it. Um, Kali, I think we're good unless there's anything else and we'll get this recording up in the back office and then we'll schedule another training to dig into this stuff even more. Sounds good. Cool. Awesome. Thanks guys. Appreciate you for being here and, uh, and showing up. I know it's Monday and some of you probably want to be out watching football and doing whatever it is you guys do on a Monday other than sitting here listening to us, but we are here for you 110%. We never stop. We never sleep. We just keep working to help you guys build and uh, you deserve that. Okay. So love you guys. Night. See you guys. Bye. Tomorrow.